that is delicious. Let's eat some Croatian food today. Good afternoon and welcome to Zagreb. This is our last day here in Europe, but to celebrate our last day in Europe, we are gonna do a food tour. I have three things specifically in mind. The first food we're eating looks super delicious and it's almost like a hybrid of two cuisine foods like mashed together. Zagrabacki Odrezak. That is the name of it. I'm probably butchering it, but that is the name. And the second food we're gonna be eating today is called Strukli. And the third is called Fuzi, which is like a famous pasta here. But apparently like the shape of the pasta is what the name is. And there's also a huge beer culture here. So there's the possibility we're gonna stop for beer in the middle of this. And also, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's like blue skies and it's raining. Like, it's almost like I'm in a movie right now because I'm not sure why this is happening. There's no clouds above us, yet it's raining. But let's get going because I'm hungry. And today's really our only day we get to explore this city. So not only are we gonna be eating, but we're gonna be exploring this beautiful place as well. So I will say the public transportation here is great. If you're here in Zagreb and you need to get somewhere that's far away, like we probably could have taken the tram, but we decided to walk to kind of see the city, but trams everywhere. All right, we have made it to Vagaboon, and quickly how I found this place is it came across like a few different food blocks I found for Zagreb. We are here for Croatian food at a pizzeria. Are you like, like why are you at a pizzeria for Croatian food? Yeah, I said the same thing. The dish that we're getting is basically like a pork schnitzel. I think I read that they also do beef in some places, but I think here it's a it's pork. So it's a pork schnitzel crossed with like chicken cordon bleu. So they take the schnitzel and then they roll ham and cheese into it and then bake it or fry it. I mean, it sounds like a heart attack that I want to have. Let's find out. This is the so the options they have for this dish is veal, pork, turkey. I think we're doing turkey. The lovely man that works here helped us figure out what we were gonna eat. So originally we were gonna eat the turkey one, but he prefers the pork. So we went with the pork ozer drop. It's amazing. That looks like a very delicious bite. So like I said, pork schnitzel with like a, a cordon bleu with ham and cheese. This thing looks delicious and it is big. Definitely enough to share. I'm glad we didn't get two of them. We were gonna get one pork, one turkey. Look at that bite. It's like all of my favorite things wrapped up. Like fried meat with cheese. Oh, and you squeeze lemon on it. It's like savory and salty with the lemon. Gives it like that nice like citrusy. Oh, and the ham and the cheese just give it like a nice texture. That is delicious. And apparently the chef is from the area where these come from in the eastern part of, of Croatia. So I think we came to the right place. And it looks just like the photos I saw online with the scallop and then french fries. My turn! A big bite. Mm -hmm. That's a bite. That tastes like a fried cordon bleu. That's the best way to put it. Ooh, that's good. It's getting better too, but that was a big bite. <laughs> All right, first meal down. Time to go to number two. We're already feeling a little full. That was definitely, it was a lot, it was a lot. That was so lovely. The owner talked to us the whole time, gave us recommendations 
of everywhere to go off the beaten path places here in Croatia. We're off to our next destination which is called La Struk and we're gonna get food number two. So there's a third thing on my list and it's nothing crazy but it's very particular to Croatia. It's a pasta dish called fuzi, but it's the shape of the pasta is what makes it so unique. It's like a square piece of pasta and then they like roll it on this stick. It kind of looks like campanelle, but they make various pasta like sauces and dishes with it like cream or tomato or whatever. But at the next spot, I'm going to tell you about more local dishes in different parts of the country because there is a lot of local food here. So we made it to La Struc and it is like so cute in here. It's on like one of the main streets with a whole bunch of outdoor restaurants and stuff. Also, I, I love that it's 8, 10 p.m. and it's still very bright out, which is very nice since we started filming a little bit later today. But there is one kind of food here at this restaurant called La Struc. The food is called Strukli and there are savory and there are sweet kinds of strukli. Apple cinnamon yeah. and the roasted pepper. roasted pepper. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. So a strukli is a puff pastry. That's like the best way to put it. A thin puff pastry that's baked. It comes in these like ceramic casserole dishes and there's like and they kind of put it all in and they wrap it in the puff pastry. So apparently it's a very popular thing here because this entire restaurant is totally full. Also on the bottom of the menu, it says to allow up to 25 or 30 minutes after ordering because it takes that long to make. So don't come here if you're in a rush, but if you are willing to wait, I bet it is worth every minute. But we're just gonna drink our fancy so Prosecco. Pinky out, gang. He just put the apple cinnamon strictly in front of me and it literally smells like a s'more. If you don't know what a s'more is, it's like a traditional American like camping thing that you do in the summer. And essentially it's like chocolate, marshmallow, and graham cracker like smushed all together into like a sandwich. And that's what this smells like. Oh my god, like I think they torched the top or something. I'm excited. I'm not even like a sweet tooth person, but that smells so good. So mine is just roasted pepper. It looks like there's like a roasted pepper like puree on the bottom. And I think there's like cheese or something on top. And it looks very hot, so this looks painful. Just blowing it. So it's pastry, like a pastry dough on the bottom, then your whatever flavor you chose, and then they put sour cream on top. But it's like a baked sour cream. It's not like liquidy like you would use at home, but like super creamy, savory, and like really flavorful. Chaz. It's hot. <laughs> It's hot. It's really, really hot. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that is very, very hot. But it tastes exact. It literally tastes like an apple pie. It's so good. It's like an apple pie that I can imagine this in the fall is like magical. Yeah, it's good. Nick just asked me if it's good. Yeah, it's an apple pie that has like a torch top, which I love like burnt things. So <laughs> this is like my kind of dish. You can, you can also see the pastry at the bottom. Nick was saying it's like a puff pastry, but to me it tastes more like a crepe, like a crepe at the bottom versus like a puff pastry that you would get in a pie. So it's like a crepe pie. <laughs> you see that crepiness? It's like a crepe. 
It's absolutely creepy. Good. <laughs> yeah. Look how fun this is. This street is so great. There's so much to eat over here. Everyone's out enjoying their food, enjoying their drinks, and it's 9.30. Like, look how fun. All right, we have made it full circle. We are back where we started at the main square in the center. But before we go, I do want to mention some other foods that we did not get to. Unfortunately, the Fuzi pasta we couldn't find. And honestly, the food here in Croatia is so heavy that I don't even know if we could eat another thing. But I do want to mention some other kinds of foods that if you do come to Croatia, you should definitely try. And a lot of the, the Croatian food that I think people are more familiar with you'll find along the coast, which is where we RV'd. And a lot of it is seafood based. A lot of shrimp, a lot of fish, a lot of octopus. There was tons of octopus dishes that showed up when I was researching food. Some other kind of foods, I don't, this isn't like typical to Croatia, but I have seen a lot of bakeries here and the bread here also looks really good. But if you like seeing some of the top Croatian foods here with us today, please give the video a like. If there's any food that we missed that we should have eaten, or the foods that we tried today that we should have eaten somewhere else, let us know. But tomorrow, Sam and I are taking two different flights in business class on two different airlines, and we will be comparing both of the cabins on those airlines. Go check our RV series out because we just spent almost two weeks driving around Croatia and had the time of our life. We camped for almost two weeks. It was, it was incredible. Croatia is an amazing country. We're super sad to leave, but time to move on. We will absolutely be back and until next time we'll see you on the go. It's called Zegrebacki. Odrezak. What? Odrezak. It's called Zagrabachki Ozegura. Odrezak. Yes. It's called Zagrabachki Oze I can't say it. The name's right no, here. No. All right, we have made it to. All right, we have made it to Bag. Strukli is like a crepe. Pastry dough. Like a crepe. Okay. Okay. He just put. He just put strukli. Is that what it's called? Strictly. While we were waiting for the food, actually the food was already here. A bird shat and it fell in our bucket where our Prosecco is. It didn't, it didn't fall into the food or into the Prosecco or into the actual bottle, but it fell into like the, <laughs> the bucket where our Prosecco is. <laughs> And then we're like, <laughs> no way that happened. <laughs> yeah, when in Zagreb.